Feel good. You're ready to go? Yep. Okay. Any, any doubts at all that you'll be fully ready on Saturday? You know, I'll be playing on Saturday. What, can you tell us at all what you've been dealing with? Um, just, you know, nicks and bruises, what you go through dur during a regular season. Um, like last year, we only had, we only played eight games. So that was like the luxury of, you know, playing fresh every day. But um, now it's a regular season. So just, you know, little nicks and bruises that you get over the season. So what happened against Maryland was that just kind of aggravating, aggravating an injury you already had? Yeah. If you had a game last year, would you have done a Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, so. What are the things you're doing to try to keep yourself healthy, kind of get get past this and be healthy for the stretch run? Um, you know, doing a lot um, in terms of massages, uh, rehabilitation, um, all like sports science. Our, our training room is really up to date with um, getting our bodies right, cryo, um, getting in the float tank, anything that can get my body right, I do it. How much did it help to have that bye week to get a week to, to rest? I assume you probably didn't practice that much last um, It was really um, crucial, you know, I, I got my rest, but it was also I could make my corrections and do um, you know, watch film, get on the film, and uh, look at stuff that other um, teams are looking at, and um, yeah, improve my gameplay. Pascal, is it, is it your is it your opinion that you guys are practicing and preparing like a championship team? Can you did y'all go through any metamorphosis after the Oregon game, or did you feel like the prep was always there? But just what has it been like the last several weeks? I mean, you feel like you're you know mm -hmm. you got to know what it takes. It it was just the. One, the sense of urgency, and two, you know, the standard. We understood that we weren't playing to the standard, and, um, you know, we have to hold ourselves accountable for um, our responsibilities on the field. Did anybody address that? Any, any of you players stand up in, uh, in front of the team and address those kind of things? Um, we all kind of just came together and understood that, you know, what the way that we were playing wasn't up to par, wasn't up to Ohio State par, and wasn't of the standard. Um, so we all stood up in, you know, promise to each other that we need to play our best game. Can you can you state that standard? I mean, do, can you put that into words? What is that standard? Um, you know, like goals, like um, small goals, like, you know, got to hold a team to 100 yards rushing, you know, um, you know, winning the down and distance, winning um, field position, stuff like that, and setting small goals for every game so that, you know, guys have a game, uh, a goal going into the game and how they need to play and what standard they need to play at. I imagine you've you thought your depth at defensive tackle would be pretty good this year, Haskell. Is it even better than you thought with like some young guys stepping up, like you know Tyreek Williams and maybe some other guys? Like, it, it, just your thoughts on the depth at D tackle for you guys? Um, it was just the depth, and you know that was good, but also it's hard because um, with experience, with experience comes confidence, and some guys, you know, you needed to go through those games and get those reps, those game reps in, so that you can build confidence in yourself, and that's why you see guys like Tyreek Williams. Um, you know, um, Ty Hamilton stepping up to the plate and showing up in big games. You had a breakout year last year. Um, how are you even better this year? I don't know if it's like strength-wise, technique-wise. What are some ways you're even better this year after your breakout year? I feel my motor and my ability to play deep um, into games, you know, going from 32, 35 reps to 42, 50 reps um, and being able to sustain that for a whole game. Pascal, you just said that it's crucial having the release of what's for you for the bye week. What do you personally feel about bye weeks? Is it better to maybe have a week off in the middle of the season to recoup, or would you rather just play through and kind of get it all over with at once? I think it's good that you have a week off in the sense that, you know, there's now film out there on yourself and you are able to, you know, watch yourself, see how you actually play because you, you're so busy, you know, watching other teams, you never really watch yourself and understand how other teams are game planning for your, for you and those around you. So it's it's really good. It's a learning experience and it's also the ability to, you know, just catch up on film and how to, you know, critique yourself. As the last year when you guys played Indiana, I think you guys were 35 seven before obviously Indiana started throwing all I don't know, is there a message you guys take from that game that kind of apply to this year? Kind of, you know, do you take anything from that game and apply it this year? You know, just don't be relaxed. Yeah, they have a lot of weapons, um, both at receiver and running back. Um, and so just not being relaxed, being able to, you know, finish games, that's that's huge. I know they haven't had a season from a record standpoint that was anywhere near what they were last year, but I guess what stands out about them yeah, the offensive line and the offensive line. Yeah, no, they have a great offensive line, you know, a lot of big dudes, and um, we just have to play our best game. Pascal, uh, Ryan Day has spoken in the past about a uh, circle of care that he that he cares about with, your, with the players and taking care of your mental fortitude just as much as the physical. 
Um, mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about uh, what that looks like in, within the program? You know, just being very transparent. You know, he's a very transparent coach. And he, you know, his door is, open, is always open, whether he's in a meeting or not. You know, we can always come to him and talk to him. And we have the resources around the facility. You know, whenever guys are like homesick, freshmen are homesick, um, when dudes are going through things off the field, you know, we have resources and people to go to for those answers other than our family and friends. What was your reaction for you being in Iowa last week? Is it kind of a reminder for this team not to take any team for granted in this league? I mean, yeah, it just comes to what I said, you know, in the beginning of the season after our loss, you know, there's a lot of ball left to play. Everybody thought everything was set in stone in the beginning of the season, like still have to play the whole season and get to the, you know, to the championship, you know. So the goal has always been to get to the Big Ten. And, um, you know, just you can't sleep on no on any team in the Big Ten at all because everybody's good.